Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple of my favorite player props on prize picks for Sunday, June the 5th. Game uh, 2 of the NBA Finals is on Sunday night. And I got a couple plays I like on prize picks. We'll talk through um, three plays specifically. I did find three plays I like taking a first look at the board on Saturday. Um, we'll share why I like these plays. We'll give some analysis on why I like each play. Just before we do get started, we can recap our picks from um, from Thursday, which was you know the last time we made an NBA video for Game 1. And in Game 1, we, we didn't have the greatest day. We went 1-2 and two on our three plays, but it's definitely unlucky. Um, we did hit the over 22.5 points for Jalen Brown, and that, once again, Jalen Brown scored 24 points, which you know I talked about in my video uh, last time that you know his points prop on prize picks was, uh, was set at 22.5. All the other books had his prop, uh, his points prop at 24 and a half. So that's been now back-to-back -back days. I've been on Jalen Brown's points props, and he's hit. He scored 24 points and has gone over his prize picks line, but has not gone over his line on the sports books. So yeah, that's one of the reasons, yo, you need to get over to prize picks because they do have some of the better lines, in my opinion. Um, you can definitely find some softer lines on prize picks. But Jalen Brown hit his points prop, went over 22 and a half. Sadly, though, Draymond, uh, Draymond Green did not go over his PRA. We needed 22 points rebound assists from Draymond, and he finished with 20. But, man, like Draymond, he missed, what, he missed two free throws uh, towards the end of the game. I think with, like, three minutes left or two minutes left, he went to the free throw line. If he would have made those free throws, he would have went over, but he missed both free throws. He also had a terrible shooting game. I mean, I think Draymond shot, like, two for 12 on Thursday. So it was tough. I think he finished with, like, four points, 11 rebounds, and five assists, if I remember correctly. Um, so 20 PRA from Draymond came up just short and then Grant Williams needed four rebounds from Grant Williams and he he played like 15 minutes he still got three rebounds in just like 15 or 16 minutes um, the, the minutes he played last uh, game was the least amount of minutes he's played all postseason that was something that I didn't expect I thought you know I thought Grant Williams would be a pretty key piece for the Celtics off their bench play probably you know 25 to 28 minutes and he played just 16 minutes in game one I um, mean, we needed four rebounds from him, and he only got three rebounds in those 16 minutes. If he plays his 25, 28 minutes that I expected him to play, he probably would have gone over, but I guess I was wrong there. I didn't see Grant Williams only playing 16 minutes, but it is what it is. Not a great day for game one, just one and two, but hopefully we can hit all three of our plays for today, guys. Um, you know, before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. I always appreciate you guys checking out these videos every day. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I will be covering player props all throughout the NBA Finals up until the, you know, if we go to Game 7, all, all the way up until Game 7. If there is a Game 7, I'll cover some prize picks plays, some player props I like for each game. And I'm also trying to make some MLB videos right now. So like on the days where we don't have any NBA games, I'm trying to cover some MLB props. Uh, so for those of you that are maybe looking for some action outside of NBA, check out my MLB videos, uh, talking through some MLB props I like each day. And again, if you have not signed up for Prize Picks yet, get over to Prize Picks, sign up, use promo code NOLA. Uh, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. And Prize Picks is really, you know, up in their game. They got a lot of options available now. Um, you can see they've added a lot of new stat types. Uh, you know, three pointers made in the first six minutes. I don't know if these are props that I'm really gonna, really gonna target myself, but they can be kind of, you know, fun, quick sweats if you're into that. They also added PR, uh, PA, RA. Um, so points plus assists, points plus re or points plus rebounds, rebounds plus assists. Prospects adding some new stats. They got a lot of options to choose from now. So definitely get over there, sign up, use promo code NOAA uh, when you do sign up for Prize Picks, and they will match your first deposit up to $100. But let's talk through some plays I like for game two on Sunday night. And we're going to start off in the fantasy point category. So I got two fantasy point projections that I like. And then the other prop that I like is going to be a points prop. So for fantasy score, we're going to start off with Andrew Wiggins. And I'm taking over 29 fantasy points for Andrew Wiggins. So if you look over Andrew Wiggins' last five games, he has gone over this fantasy score line in four out of his last five games. And if you look even deeper throughout the playoffs, he's gotten 29 fantasy points or more in a lot of playoff games. It's now been, I think, like... 12 playoff games, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, yeah, so 12 playoff games out of um, 3, 4, 5. So 12 out of 17 playoff games, Andrew Wiggins has gotten 29 or more fantasy points. Obviously, that's playoff games this season. Um, you know, he's been playing well so far in the postseason, especially as of late. He played really good in that Dallas series. Um, he, he was good in game one of this series, too. He scored 37 fantasy points. Um, he played 35 minutes, had 20 points, 5 rebounds, a steal, and 3 blocks. You know, Wiggins has been able to get those stocks. He's he's kind of been needed defensively for Golden State. He's been getting steals and blocks. Those are huge for fantasy score because they're worth three points each. We know Wiggins is going to get plenty of scoring opportunities as well. I mean, you can look at his field goal attempts, 20, 17, 16, 16, 16. I mean, he's taking a lot of shots. He's taking at least 10 field goal attempts in almost every playoff game. A couple games he shot under 10 field goal attempts. 
But like even this game, he took nine shots and he still scored 30 fantasy points. Um, he had you know, 13 points, eight rebounds, two assists, a block and a steal. Like Wiggins has a lot of ways he can get to 29 fantasy points. He can score, he can grab rebounds, he can get those defensive stats. He's going to play big minutes. They need his defense out there. He's probably going to be the primary defender on Jason Tatum. So I'm like an Andrew Wiggins over 29 fantasy score. I think this line should normally be about 31, 32. Anytime it's below 30, it's usually pretty appealing to take. Um, so that's going to be our first play for today. like this one quite a bit, over 29 fantasy, uh, fantasy score for Andrew Wiggins. And then our second play, again, another fantasy score, going to Draymond Green, and I'm taking over 28 fantasy score for Draymond Green. Now, I know I know Draymond came up short of his PRA line last game. I, I, obviously, I was on his PRA. His PRA is the same as it was last game. It's 21 and a half once again. If you want to take that over 21 and a half PRA, I think Draymond will hit that again, or I think he will hit it this time, I should say. I know he came up just short last game, but I think today he'll go over that PRA line. But I do like this fantasy score of 28, just because Draymond can get steals and blocks, and he can he can contribute in multiple ways outside of you know PRA. Like he he can maybe come up just short of his PRA, but still hit his fantasy score because he can get two or three blocks. He can get maybe a steal or two. Um, I think his fantasy score last game, I think it was like 30 or 31. Honestly, I can't remember. Kind of similar to Andrew Wiggins. Anytime Draymond Green's fantasy score prop is below 30, it's usually going to be pretty appealing to take. I know he came up just short of his fantasy score last game as well. But again, he shot the ball terrible last game. He shot like two for 12. He also fouled out with like a minute left. You know, if he doesn't foul out, does he get a fancy point in that final minute? It's possible. But most games, Draymond Green has gone over this fantasy score this postseason. A lot of the games where he's gone under, he's either been like limited by foul trouble or maybe it's been a blowout. You know, last game he played 38 minutes while fouling out with like a minute left. Maybe he would have played like 40 minutes. But a couple of these games where he's gone under, I mean, 32 minutes, 30 minutes, 33. One game he played 17 minutes. I think that was the game that Golden State got beat bad. Uh, then all these other games he's played below 30 minutes. Any game where Draymond has played like 36 to 40 minutes, he has gotten 29 fancy or over 28 fancy score. Um, obviously uh, excluding last game pretty much, but you know, 37 minutes and 29 fancy score, uh, 35 minutes, 32 fancy points, 36 minutes, 33 fancy points. We should expect Draymond to play like close to 40 minutes here. Obviously, you know, this is the finals, man. Like this, this is what you play for. You're going to put your stars out there for as many minutes as they can handle. I expect Steph to play over 40 minutes. I think Clay plays probably 40 minutes. I think Wiggins plays probably 40 minutes. And Draymond might play close to 40 minutes as long as he stays out of foul trouble. He was able to stay out of foul trouble last game. Hopefully he can do that again. Um, I know he did foul out, but he wasn't like in, he wasn't limited by foul trouble. I think a lot of his fouls came late in the game when like he just started picking up a lot of fouls kind of towards the end of the game. But as long as he plays like 36, 40 minutes, I think Draymond's getting over 28 fantasy points. He's, he's normally been a fancy point per minute player. I think this projection should be like 31 or 32. I think this definitely this line is definitely a few points too low. Very similar to Andrew Wiggins. So I like both these Warrior props. Over 29 fancy score for Andrew Wiggins and over 28 fancy score for Draymond Green. And then our final play, going to be a points prop going to Jason Tatum. Um, over 25 and a half points for Jason Tatum. It's probably, I would say it's probably my favorite play of the three plays that I'm, the, of you know, of these three plays. I think it's my favorite. Just because, you know, we've seen Jason Tatum be such a good scorer throughout this postseason. And I know he he was terrible last game in terms of scoring. Um, he only scored 12 points. He shot the ball terribly last game. But let's take a look at this postseason. How many games has, you know, Jason Tatum scored 26 points or more? It's been a lot of games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 out of, what, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 12 out of 19 playoff games, uh, Jason Tatum has scored 26 points or more. A lot of these games where he's gone under, you know, 26 points. I mean, some of these games, like he played 37 minutes when normally, you know, right now, at least in the finals, Jason Tatum is playing like 42 minutes. He played 42 minutes last game. A um, couple of these games, you know, shot the ball pretty terribly, like 5 for 16, 6 for 18. This game he shot 7 for 20. Obviously, last game he shot terribly. He shot 3 for 17. He literally had his worst shooting game the entire postseason, uh, Jason Tatum did last game. And let's take a look at, so let's take a look at Jason Tatum in the postseason when he has a bad game. And I, I don't really like to look into like trends like this too much, but so Jason Tatum, game two versus Brooklyn, he scored 19 points. The game after that, 39 points. Um, game one against Milwaukee, he scored 21 points. The game after that, 29 points. Game three against Milwaukee, had a bad game, 10 points, bounced back, scored 30 points the next game. Um, game three against Miami, he scored 10 points. The game after that, bounced back and scored 31 points. So 
it seems like anytime Jason Tatum has a bad game, he usually bounces back with a big game after that. And, you know, the books kind of lowered his points prop. I think his points prop last game was like 27 and a half or 28 and a half. And it came down a little bit just because he had a poor shooting game. But we know Jason Tatum is not going to shoot the ball three for 17 again. I mean, he's historically been a really efficient shooter so far in the postseason. He shot the ball really well. He's had great usage. He's led the team with a 28.8% usage rate in the postseason. He's going to play over 40 minutes. As long as Jason Tatum doesn't shoot three for 17 again, I feel pretty good about him, you know, at least coming close to this points prop, most likely going over though. I mean, he's gone over 25 and a half points in a lot of playoff games. And like I said earlier, you know, when you look at his playoff game log so far, anytime he has a bad game, he normally bounces back with a big game. So does that trend continue? I think it probably will. You know, I think Jason Tatum's going to come out here and probably score, score 26 points for us. Uh, usage is going to be there. Shot attempts are going to be there. Just got to hope that he doesn't shoot three for 17 again, which I feel pretty confident, you know, he won't do. And if he does, then oh well, so be it. But we know the volume and the minutes are going to be there and that's just what we have to attack. So these are my three plays for today, guys. Over 29 fantasy score for Andrew Wiggins, over 28 fantasy score for Draymond Green, and over 25 and a half points for Jason Tatum. Again, I'm excited for uh, game two of the finals. Hopefully it's a good game. Game one was very exciting. Um, was pretty. It was pretty close down to the wire, except, you know, the final minute or so, Boston started to pull away with it. But we got a good game in game one. Hopefully tonight's game or Sunday's game is going to be close. We get another good game. But yeah, that's all that I got for tonight, guys. Wish you the best of luck. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I hope it helped. Hit that like button. If you did enjoy, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And again, check out Prize Picks. Make sure to sign up uh, for Prize Picks and use promo code NOAH. They will match your first deposit up to $100 uh, when you do sign up with my promo code. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and we will see you in the next one.